All right, we're recording Halloween night, week seven of Dancing with the Stars. Overall, the night was very mid for me. I don't think any dance this tonight blew me out of the water, like at all. Y'all, did y'all have a dance that blew y'all? I, I, yeah, there is one that blew y'all out of the water. It just didn't blow me out, but it didn't blow me out of the water, but it was like it got me excited for the show. Yeah. Well, we're gonna jump on into it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we start with number one. This is when I knew. Because if y'all if y'all ain't following me on Twitter, I called it. I called the entire, I called it like at 9:20. And it wrapped at I 10. Think, I was like, I think you called it at nine o'clock on the dot window. It was somewhere around the board that got revealed. Yeah, because I saw when that when the lineup came out, I was like, Jordan being the first one to, to dance tonight. I'm like, that means because in terms of like, the lineup, huh? She's always either the first half or first. There's but no other thing is though, I think in terms of the lineup, because it can be a setup from the product from the producers, but to me, I'm thinking from a from a producer standpoint on a just a sub part trying to put a good show together, I'm thinking in terms of I'm putting the one that choreographically is not the best at the top. And I'm going to put the best ones at the end. Well, Vinny and Coco should go first. They were in the top yeah. echelon. But they were. If you want to, even whatever. if you look, this is where I'm going to give she you She actually grace. got good scores, though. This is where I'm going to give your girl Grace. Who? Coco. Oh, what? She's, and this ain't even saying much. Don't even take it for what I'm about to say. No, I'm better gonna take choreographer it. than Brandon. You know she is. You know she is. Oh, She's it's a better choreographer than Brandon. She is. Not anyone that's not saying much. Huh? Dan, you must really not like Brandon's choreography. I don't, he, <laughs> it pisses me off how Jordan literally went home tonight. And we've said it, all four of us, Rose included, Said it from week one. We all said it every single week. He's going to be the reason she goes home earlier than she should. And what yeah, happened? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, yeah, well, definitely. Also, because because for Black women on this show, we're going to get to that, actually. I got something to say. Because they, uh, they can't ever be yeah, mediocre. They we don't get one a season, and they always stick the one with Brandon. And they can't, they're not allowed to be mediocre like the I'm about to go off. Heidi, yeah. mm-hmm, let's get to Heidi. Oh, yeah. I'm Heidi, tired of this. Got, <laughs> to go. We're gonna have a we might have a we might have a long review a review for y'all tonight. Boring, boring bitches need to go, and I'm sick of it. Oh, for real. <laughs> it's fine. And ugly girls need to go. Don't piss <laughs> me off because you're attempting. Oh, we can get to it. Jordan, okay, Jordan and Brandon, they did a tango. Um First of all, the songs tonight sucked. I didn't like pretty much any song. Who is picking the music? Like what? No, and there's only two a, songs that were true to the um true to the exactly style. Was set up two. There was like two songs true to the style. Literally only two. But the frame was good. And when I'm saying it was good, like it was good, but it could have been stronger to me. It didn't seem like it was like firm because they're doing a tango. So in that dance, I feel like your frame should be super sharp, as should your movements. And then she had a very nice, strong frame, but in terms of like her head positioning, she was looking down at the floor like this. And I'm like, what is she doing? Like, and that's not even her fault. I'm not even tripping on her. I'm like, it's not even her fault. That is Brandon's job to notice that. Like, why are you not supposed to be looking at the floor? You should have your head kind of at an angle where it's kind of like, you're looking away, but you're not really looking away, but she's looking down at the floor. And it's like, why are you looking at the floor when you turn it around? You should be looking and spotting. That's something that he should be teaching her. And he has not taught her that the entire time, which is why she has never gotten to the point where she can and should if she had somebody else. And like I said last week, the best dancer on this show would have not let her deal with this shit. D'Angelo would have had her right. (laughs) Oh, yeah. this, is, this is literally the most unserious thing he said. <laughs> Never this unserious. Is the most, this is the most That's unserious. real unserious because you're really comparing Brandon to, of course, the any we're talking about any pro in general would be better than this. You right, except but for I'm Sasha, just, except you're right, for but Sasha. Like, you're right, but any pro would have even yeah, even Sasha would have had her looking a little bit better than that. But I'm 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 taking this time now to let BBC Disney whoever the hell is literally hiring these dancers 
it's time for you to part ways with that nigga. And it's bad and it's hard for me to say it because he's the only black dude on the show. But if you got to find somebody else black and you no, got to take a couple years to get one in, D'Angelo is right there. Give him, give him the check. Take the check from Brandon, send him on back to Utah with his wife and they can live their happy Utah life. Give somebody who actually is going to take their job. I kind of have an unpopular opinion, though. What? This choreography was not, didn't really even set me off like that bad. Like I was just neutral to it. It wasn't the choreography. It was the fact, it was the technique. It was the technical errors that we've seen every week. That's it's what I'm big. saying. I kind of like the choreography low key, but he's not a good teacher and I'm getting tired of talking about it. So <laughs> that's really what well, I'm going to go and his fans are going to hate me and they already jumping me on Twitter. Like, Wait, Brandy got stance? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. I think I got just like, all I said was the nigga can't dance. What? Yeah, Brandon and Allen got like crazy stands. I never got it. They're mixed together too, so whatever. Yeah, they are. Wait, wait, Jordan had a tank. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Flashback to last season. Flashback to last season. Taya went home on a tango. Oh, Kenya? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. They both went home on, and they both went home on Halloween. And they both have Brandon as the nastiest partner. And it was week seven for both of them. Okay. Come on. It's not We're a cool talk about how Lynn is racist, though. And that's all I'm <laughs> We all knew. We all knew once Jordan was in that bottom two. Or Except high. for he better not switch on Shangela. You already we know. We'll get to that. He better not. We all knew the minute she got in that bottom. I, that's why I said, if it's Jordan versus Heidi, she's going to go home regardless if she should or not. If it was me, I would have saved Jordan because Jordan is a better entertainer she's a better dancer oh. and period she's more she's exciting to watch she's prettier she's definitely prettier <laughs> naturally prettier too and Emilio's gonna be in my comments <laughs> <laughs> after tonight because I'm, I'm going in on both of them <laughs> I'm going in on both of yeah. them okay all right of course <laughs> I gave her a nine nine I gave it an eight she but got all nines yeah, she got all nines. Nobody must have been voting for her then. Because the fact that Vinny, Vinny. <laughs> That's the thing, though. I felt like the whole time, I felt like Jordan, to me, truthfully, I feel like Jordan has probably been riding that bot that bottom three like half the past season, like half the season. I feel like she probably was the third bottom vote. I think so, too. I think Vinny is one of the top vote getters, Loki. Me, too. Bobby Bones Light. Like, he's literally Bobby. And they got to stop. They got to start giving him five so he can go. I'm going to. That's why we're going to. That's why he's going to be here. I mean, stop those. When they start scoring him towards the normal, like, you're not going to get rid of him. Like, no. Exactly. And that's what they was doing with Bobby. Like, they was literally scoring him, like, a seven while giving everybody else eights and nines. It's like. It's not much of a differential, especially if he's getting more votes. Like you, exactly. what he should get, which is fours and fives. But yeah, so we move on. To, yeah, we'll get on him. Charlie and Mark doing the Argentine tango. This I had high hopes for when I heard when I found out that she was doing an Argentine tango. I was like, okay, this could be another one. I got first off the bat off just watching it. I got scared when she did that back walkover on that slanted bed and it had like that frame at the, uh, not even, I don't even know what you want to call it. Oh yeah. When she kicked over, I thought she was going to kick her legs, kick her shins on that stuff and like fuck it up. But oh, she got it. She got it. No, she got off of that. But then when she got into the dance, like there was one little section at the beginning where she was like swiveling her feet in between and then kind of like trying to hit lines. And then like he held her up in that lift and her leg was kind of like shooting out. She didn't point her foot. The leg looked very flimsy. And I'm like, if it was Daniela doing this, or if it was Jenna doing this, that leg would have been super straight. That toe would have been pointed. That foot would have almost came through that darn shoe. And she didn't do it. And I was like, she's done that in other dances where she's pointed her feet and her legs were straight. And to me, I didn't feel like they were. And in the moments where she was having bent knees, I felt like it just looked awkward to me. Like, I was not impressed with this at all. Um... It's something interesting about, I didn't really have a problem with it, like, from a visual standpoint. Um, really like the choreography. Uh, but I just, she's not bringing, because, and that's what's pissing me off. He's giving her good stuff, difficult stuff that would get her, like, 
tens and stuff but she's not bringing edge to it like mark's partners usually bring something or like since mark doesn't always get the technician like his partners previously have always been a little bit like mid-level tech and technical but have some like personality she's like kind of the opposite she's a good technician but like she doesn't have edge she doesn't have anything spunky or spontaneous about her so it's just not hitting because his choreography is made for that type of person and she's not that but um other than that like I don't know maybe she can try and get spunk because it's just not it's very Sunni S. It's like her. Well, I wouldn't do that to her, but it's, yeah. it's that, yeah. that, that Sunni was, was hard to like look at. Sunni was, was hard to look at. I can, look at. I can at least look at Charlie. <laughs> that was my biggest least. gripe with Sunni because we saw when we've seen it like post show, like how she was when she got to college. It's like where was the personality? But Sunni just that? looked awkward dancing though. That she was that never doing awkward. nothing that Charlie was doing. <laughs> Well, in terms of dancing, no. But in terms of like personality, oh yeah, in terms of personality, they're similar. She's like her mom, but like she doesn't piss me off as much because the dancing and the choreography is quality. So I'm not on her like that. Yeah. But it's some missing, and I know the Charlie stands gonna get on this because they love to say she underscored and underappreciated. But at the end of the day, the Billios have. They think she deserves tens every week, and it's just not giving that. But if she can improve her person, her personality, bring some edge, she can easily get tens every week. She's getting yeah. them now, and like, but yeah, Demilio's have that them. dead pan face. Like, it's like nothing behind the eyes. It's like they're doing yeah. emotions. She's got to do a little bit better. That's why I think she's giving. She's giving second. She's definitely getting second. I I can tell you. Ooh, I was going yeah, to tell you who, who, who a clear winner is, but I think we might have somebody jumped up, and the other two are fighting for my favorite spot. And we'll get to who jumped up in a minute. I'm Keep, trying to think. Okay, I don't see a clear winner still. I don't see a clear winner, but I see a clear final three. And Charlie might not be in it. No, Charlie might. It might be a strong semifinal. Ooh, that's that's. Mm. Well, I can yeah. see going out in the semifinal. <clears throat> a la Nastia Lucan. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I can. I can. But the way they judge her is different than Nastia. They kind of always because there was a rumor. She doesn't really have a Gabby could be rumor possibly, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's very yeah, that's accurate. And then Wayne is like a Riker. Dang, Riker was robbed, so let's not. <laughs> Are we gonna get back into that? <laughs> he was. <laughs> he was not oh, robbed. Was robbed like said, he was definitely, definitely robbed. robbed. Just like Wayne gonna get robbed. Because yes, I feel it. Robbed. Wayne gonna get robbed. Gonna get robbed. Whitney's not gonna get to that final again and lose. No way. Scores. Um, I gave it a nine. Me too. Nine kid. Well, she got one nine, three tens, 39 out of 40, whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Daniel and Britt did a pasta double. This is going to take like five seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's good. But I was like, like I told y'all. They're, they're plateauing as well. They're yeah, just I'm, I'm wanting a wow moment. And one of the Twitter casual Karens, I said that. I said, I'm looking for a wow moment. She's like, every time he does something, it's a wow moment. I'm like, yeah, he's deaf. But it's. Uh, <laughs> It's week seven. I'm done with the death shit. Like he I'm don't got a wild wow moment. I'm Let's not lie. He doesn't have death. a wild wow moment. Hey, whoever that lady was, lie. He doesn't have a wild wow moment. He's just good. Like he's huh? Still waiting on one. What you say? On a wild wow moment, and we're going to week eight. Exactly, and that was yeah. My... He don't have no wild wow moment. She lied. <laughs> And saying like he's he's deaf and he's dancing every time he steps is a wild moment. No, it's not. The first, I mean, it would be the it'd be a wild moment if he was the first. Yeah, I feel like his first dance was the best wild moment type of everything else has been whatever. At this point, he's in danger of going home before Vinny and Trevor next week. Honestly, I feel like <laughs> the team dance right. saved him. Yeah. The team dance saved him. And if Trevor like, keeps getting better, Daniel was in trouble. And I love Brit too, but yeah, it's on Brit, Brit, wise, I haven't Brit, seen any danger, bro. You are in danger. And I'm worried. I love Brit. I love Brit down, but chore- choreography wise, she hasn't put anything out that was like boom. It's been good, but it's and not. He still has the same problems. He's still stiff a little bit. His movements are still messy. Yeah. 
let's go. No. Hmm. Gotta be I gave him an eight. He said you gave him away. I gave him an eight. What you give him, kid? Four. He got back. Raise your hands. Yeah, just put your hands up. <laughs> your audio is on some bullshit. At seven. Oh, eight. But why he do this? Okay, just <laughs> eight. So we all agreed eights, but them judges on Derek. Derek started to piss me off. Carrie Ann was on her shit tonight. Carrie Ann, I was agreeing with her pretty much. No, she was. She was good tonight, except for one mistake she made, and we'll yeah, get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> but two eights, two nines, thirty-four out of forty. We moved to Shangela and Gleb doing jazz. I'm gonna let y'all take that. Gleb, the man that you are, a visionary. No. I'm <laughs> I liked it. I don't know why. I just want somebody to explain to me. The music was not good, but like what he had to work with, because they don't pick the songs apparently. So what he had to work with, I was actually impressed. I thought he was going to do something that was very, um, so it wasn't, it wasn't safe in the way that like he was doing movement that like with going to the music, the crappy music that they had. Nice. I liked it. I thought he was going to do, I thought they were going to do something like cheesy and very like, you know how like you just do this movement and then this movement it flowed mm-hmm. together for me which is why I was like because I was expecting Gleb to do he didn't choreograph choreograph that jazz that's the real tea but <laughs> since I love him I'm not going to expose him because I thought that he was going to have some bad jazz choreography but it wasn't bad it was very good I had low expectations that's why I was wow because it was better than what I expect he gotta say can y'all hear me now yeah, yes. a lot better. Uh, yeah, honestly, coming into this one, I have to. Th- I had low expectations for this jazz because I don't think I've ever seen Gleb choreograph a Thank jazz. You. Yeah, I don't think I've seen him choreograph a jazz routine before. So whoever Maybe he got, one, who, it, that was, I don't know. That was him. Yeah, it was to be honest. Or Shangela giving him that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody thanks Shangela. She giving you a quality glimpse. He said, it's never happened. I love this team. The song took me out of it. I couldn't oh get my God. into it. I could not get into not it. Not you punishing them like, for the song. It was, <laughs> it was iffy to me. I feel like if she could, which I'm not mad. I'm glad they finally got their tens all across the board. Finally. It's like, damn, finally. They should have got it when they did that cha-cha. But it just was not hitting for me the way it was hitting for y'all. I'm like, you need to rewatch. Maybe I do because I'm- yeah, probably yeah, do that. That's probably the why. way he was. My thing is when she, when she dances, that's what makes her. This is what Charlie needs to have a little bit of because her and Gabby have yeah. it. Shangela and Gabby, they yeah. throw themselves into the movement and the and the emotion that the dance is calling for. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That like it's something about they're not. Charlie is too safe sometimes. They're performing. She just, she's not performing. Oh, yeah. She's doing the dance. She's doing it technically perfect. They're doing the performing. Like they're yeah. giving you the, the essence of what the dance is. And, that's and the, the- yeah, I was feeling it at the end of the day. Great jazz. Great jazz. Of course. I gave it a 10. Duh. A 10, of course. <laughs> I think I gave it a nine. Oh, you're sick. Okay. It wasn't bad. I just it just didn't hit me. <laughs> and then I blame the song. Shangela, Team Shangela's, get him. <laughs> yeah, oh, get him. talking about Shangela. And y'all know I've said, I feel like, at least the past couple of weeks, I've said, I feel like the general public's not going to get behind her because, you know, as much as it's nice Let's to see. Let's not bring right that now, negativity over here. It's nice to see right now that they're they're pulling for her. But I was thinking in terms of score wise, they was underscoring her. They weren't giving her scores that were going to match up. And I'm like, oh, she's yeah. getting caught in the that, shuffle. If she can keep wrong. getting tens and nines, I feel good about her. But if she drops it down, I'm she's nervous. Getting there now that she's getting there, and not only that, she's improving. Yeah. Lev is showing now this season that he's actually got choreography that can actually stand. And I'm when I'm yeah. saying stand, like it's not like good choreography. He's got choreography. I ain't gonna say it can compete with Mark and Whitney, but it's definitely gonna be something that's gonna be memorable. He's he's putting routines together that are actually it's gonna be interesting. But he's got a good partner that can perform it. So, yeah, she's got so much personality. You're not gonna you're not gonna forget who she is. Yeah. At the end of the right. night, you're gonna vote for I feel good about her if she can just keep this level. Uh, yeah, she, also, I, she comes off as nice. I she's, the one, she's the one I said that stepped up. Yeah. Like yeah. she's the one to edge out Charlie. I do. 
Yeah, Charlie, I can see. I think she's the only one. She doesn't age out. Charlie, Charlie is in the final. She's got t- Charlie's got the TikTok girls, but y'all saw how that crowd was erupting whenever she finished. Yeah, I was surprised. Yeah. It could be another JoJo situation, huh? It could be another JoJo situation since it's a different type of partnership. Could be. You might be yep. right. Well, she got her first perfect score of the season. I think is that Gleb's first perfect score? No. Yeah. What Gleb's first perfect score this season? No, ever? Like, no. No. Remember that Argentine tango? Yeah, that Argentine. Yeah, oh, like on the bed. The or, oh, with the girl that cheated uh, with him. <laughs> yeah, that's his only perfect score, I think. That was no. Nice. He had more. Been, yeah. Yeah. He had like three. Really? With her? Tango that waltz right after and. Um, that team dance with Lori and Val. Well, not it's not solo. <laughs> no, no, no. We talking oh, so, about him oh, and his I partner. Have, oh yeah, it's yeah. the Archie yeah. take on the walks. Okay, so, so yeah, that's, that's why I'm We're not talking about that. him with Lori and Val. That's Val. <laughs> We're talking about dumbass Sasha and them stupid ass pranks. He's forty years old, still doing. <laughs> Like let's let's get that a rest. Like, I was watching my bucks while they were doing that. I'm sorry, I'm not supposed <laughs> to sit up there. <laughs> I, mean, I was going to the, I was not uh, looking at that. That's... Bye, Sasha. You're not getting yeah. a view out of me. Hey, bye. Vinny and Coco doing a pasta doble. They literally were stepping the entire time. Like, and then what the hell were they wearing? What the fuck were they dancing to? Sloppy ass footwork. He was stomping his shit and just like, oh lord, stomp, 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 stomp. <laughs> He's taking. Jesse they were basically the stomping bitch. Calm they down. were rewarding him for just doing the correct choreography. I can't. See. They were rewarding him for staying in time with with Coco. He was staying in for time for once. For once, he didn't miss. A, he didn't forget a step. Yeah, he didn't what he did it. was not good, and they still gave him sevens. And and Derek and Bruno gave him eight. Oh, damn. yeah, that what was too far. What is wrong with that's y'all? Too far. That, that, like y'all are very weird. That's too far for me. Like right. I'm looking through to see if they gave somebody else an eight too. No. Daniel, what? Like, are you kidding me? You gonna give Daniel eight? I gave him nine. Oh. Anything else to add? No, I don't got nothing. Oh, six. 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 Me too. Yeah, but they got. Two eights and two sevens, 30 that out That song, oh my God. I wanted to say a five. <laughs> that was the worst song ever. Stupid. But we I will- I got out of- Let's get to, let's get to these people. Yeah. Cause I got about five, I got five things to say about this. And so <laughs> let's get to it. Let's get to about it. Who? About who? Heidi and Oh <laughs> Lord, nope, nope. I ain't got that to say on this lady. Next. Hold on, no. I'm gonna I'm say my piece. You can say your piece, and we can let Lily have the floor. Tango is what they did. It looked like a pasta doble at the beginning, so I'm like, what the fuck are they about to do? <laughs> the frame looked very uncomfortable. Halfway through the dance, I literally screamed, boring. In terms of Artem's choreography this season, it was his best choreography, but that's not saying much. It was still boring as fuck. And then, let me give my shout out. We got a D'Angelo and Alexis number in between them going <laughs> with their scores. Those are your two new pros. Those are the two up and coming. That is the new Mini Jenna, and that is the new Mark Ballas. Not the Mini Jenna. The best, the best male dancer on this show. Ah. <laughs> They're coming. Take that. Y'all tried to jump me. Y'all tried to jump me last week. <laughs> and my people had my back in them comments. There was more D'Angelo. They were being sympathetic. They were being oh, sympathetic for you. No, they were They know, they know the the drill. Comments. But it's okay. Hey, it's okay. we love you on the comments, but let's not ever right. go again. Let's, 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 let's stop. Let's Y'all be sympathetic to G, and we all know this. Don't ever go against me in these comments, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's real. They know. That's real. All right, kid, what you got to They won't do it again. Bet you won't do it again. Bet you they won't do it again. Won't do what again? Go against me. Anyway. Oh, going to <laughs> but then I was up. When you say slick shit, and I come back again. with you. Don't you go that slick dub shit. Love and y'all. Back, they're going to jump in and they're going to say they piece too. <laughs> and y'all don't even jump in the comments. So, of course, they're going to jump on y'all. Yeah, okay. I'm going to start jumping in the comments. Yeah, jump in the comments. And start talking. <laughs> I just be scrolling. I don't be typing like support that. Support me. I'm not jumping in the comments until y'all support me. You, know? you got to jump in the comments first. They don't even know you. They don't even know you see what they're doing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right, I'm Kim, watching. I'm reading. I'm ghost reading. So right. you're going to be I'm a, a lurker. 
Kia, what's your thoughts before we let Lily uh, tag up Heidi? She could go ahead and tag up Heidi because the dance was boring. I, I really t- turned on the game. I, I wasn't. <laughs> No. That was terrible. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead, Lily, because you got it. I'm ready. This is this woman, because I'm not going to go her name. No. I'm trying to be respectful. No, this, woman respectful. this woman is Nyquil. This woman is Nyquil with legs. I don't understand why she's sitting up she here is. on my TV. I wonder all the time. This is she crazy. Is. She's the most boring contestant ever. Can somebody, if y'all watching, drop in the comments below if you've ever seen a more boring contestant. <laughs> There's literally nothing up there. Nothing is going on in her head. Nothing is going on in her face. When you ask her if she's excited, she'll look at you and be like, yes, I was so excited so to do true. this thing. Our robots. Kate Gosselin was more exciting than her. Exact name of her she literally i'm so excited to do this dance i am excited i'm excited i had fun with artem like what a motherfucking robot like she has zero emotion i'm tired of her and white woman privilege is what got her this far and i'm (laughs) sick of it because this is what happened let a black girl have no personality let a black girl have no personality simone biles they were on her head for having no personality when she has it, they were exactly they were on her head for, and she was technically better, and her dancers were better, and that was Sasha being her partner. Don't make me spit because I don't ever want to praise <laughs> Sasha, but here I am for real. <laughs> She's probably this fucking my, Heidi. Heidi, I swear this is everything that I hate about white women. Don't judge me. Sorry. <laughs> probably fucking Lynn. I'm telling you. Allegedly, I'm not gonna. No, yeah, this is crazy. What has she done on this show that's memorable or impactful or anything of the sorts? She is disgusting to me. Get her off my screen because I'm done <laughs> with it. Seriously, this is <laughs> unreasonable. I'm you done. Her. Oh, she better bring Artem. I love you, damn, but you better bring some next week because I'm <laughs> on the verge of He's trying not- to get you fired. <laughs> He's not, because you saw how he did Malora. The week, week Malora went home with that whack ass jazz routine. Yeah, but that's why I'm saying Malora even had like Malora was Malora was that Malora was that girl. She had personality. <laughs> I smile when she when Heidi comes on the screen. I'm <laughs> ungagged. I'm unmoved. I'm stone. You're bored. I'm stone like her. I'm Bird. stone like. Oh, you're her. in the bathroom. Tell them the truth. <laughs> Lily got to the bathroom. The bathroom. Not lie to you. Don't know what they said to that woman. I was in the bathroom. Bye. <laughs> bathroom break because we don't get commercials. <laughs> Scores. I gave her a seven. I'm done. <laughs> I'm oh, I, I, low. I said a six. I, said, I thought I was low. Giving I was her <laughs> yeah, but she got and Derek again. Derek <laughs> gave her a ten. He's weird. <laughs> he needs to get he needs to get fired too. There's a lot of people that need to lose their jobs. Say it again. Get fired. Bring back Julianne because Julianne, and that's that's terrible for me to say that because I don't even like her either. No, but Julianne would at least clock sometimes. She was not she was not one for the mess. Like she would go tell her to remember what she told uh remember when she told Max that he phoned it in with the choreography? She would have been on oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. ass. No, remember when she got on Mark though? She was kind of nasty to Mark. Yeah, she would have been on his ass. Shit. <laughs> But he got what she get? She got three nines and a 10. 10. 37 out of 40. Kid, I guess he's gonna come back in whenever he gets some service. <laughs> Gabby and Allen, Argentine Tango. It started off strong. Yeah, it did. But it did get sloppy towards the end. But I love me some Gabby. I don't give I don't give a fuck. Like I, no, I, I like her. Or no, she's like, literally one person. of the best contestants. She That's literally a good white woman. You know how I just got done snapping on um a previous white woman. woman. I'm gonna give her a credit. A good <laughs> white woman. I love her. Like is she Gabby and Whitney, the best white women I know. <laughs> they are and Danny. <laughs> oh yeah, Danielle. I miss her. Me too. She needs she wasn't even dancing tonight. I know, I miss her. Yeah, but yeah. A- uh Gabby, she does the movement right. I just love how her uh She's not stiff or not like it always just it's like watching her is easy. Some of these people need to take notes. <laughs> and she performs. I mean, yeah. And Alan was dancing with her. 
<laughs> no one's watching him. Alan looks good. Yay. I wouldn't watch him. <laughs> what was you giving that score? <laughs> I gave her a nine. I gave her a nine too, but she got two tens and two nines, 30 out of 40. Great. Wayne and Whitney. Oh, I would have loved to see her dancing with Val. And that was good choreography. Ooh, it was. It was really his Argentine tangos are like his best work. Yeah. But Wayne and Whitney, they did contemporary. This was like modern contemporary and people don't even know that's a style like what they was doing was actually a style that's like alvin ailey type shit like where it's a mixture of oh, yeah, yeah. Great hip hop and jazz all at once and then them judges didn't even appreciate it. i'm like what the fuck like get out of here they low-key set them up with the song though yeah it was stupid but at least whitney, whitney but she song. choreographed it to the best ability like i love the the beginning gag and y'all said is this the hip hop number we get ready to have? Black was there. Why did I think it was about to be hip hop? <laughs> that was Black Me. Whitney was no for real. Whitney got her black bag again. I'm so sick of her. Get, then, <laughs> Whitney here one beat. She gonna throw at least a little. Pop I know like she's that. tugging the wig a little bit. Like they said, she t- she's tugging on Danny wig. <laughs> Whitney said, "I'm here." Don't Whitney. Me. Oh my God, no! I love that. I kind of think that I just want them to get us. I actually want to see them get like a type of contemporary song though that fits. Because I feel like they have a lot of this, like they give them the jazz, the jazzy hip hop, the contemporary yeah. hip hop, and they don't give them the soft stuff like they gave uh, that white man. So, if, <laughs> yeah, you want to now. now the judge is going to be like, but I just feel like right. it wasn't really contemporary. He wasn't throwing her around and looking her in the eyes and, and you touching her. Right. To me, I would have thought Carrie Ann and Derek would have appreciated that. I, I would have thought Derek especially would have appreciated it. Carrie, but that was good. I will say one thing though. There's some sections because I like the choreography a lot, but there were some sections where he could have went harder. Yeah, because Carrie Ann made valid points when she said yeah, like he did, movements where he didn't really put his whole body into it. He did it more in that samba. Remember at the beginning when they was doing like the little yeah, when he did. and the little the little bounces. I was like, he was putting more in it to that than he did. With yeah, the- I think he was getting overwhelmed with trying to keep timing with her. Yeah. Because Whitney was... But I liked it. <laughs> I liked the concept so much that I didn't care that he didn't go in that much. Even. I really liked the concept. It was a 10 for me. Yeah. But they got three nines and a 10. Bruno was the one to come through. 37 out of 40. I'm worried for Wayne. He needs to get all 10s next week. I'm not worried for him. I think he's going to be sure. I'm not worried for him. I'm in, like in regards to having a winning journey. I need him to get ten, all 10s next week again. But he's having kind of a... well. He's having a journey, though. At least he ain't like... Yeah, no, he is having a journey. I think if he can, after these next few dances, if he can just get momentum and be stay at the top of... He has a winning journey. He can't go... He can't get all nines again next week. I don't like that for him. He got to get tens. So, <laughs> come on, Winnie. I know you can do it. I'm so, girl. I wonder what kind of dances they have. Do they have... They have That's a, true. They need to do a salsa. Ooh. I think they have more ballroom dances now because they did the cha-cha, they did the samba. No, but they've done tango too, though. They've done tango, they've done quick step. They've done have they've they done, done Foxtrot? Yeah, they did. Oh, Foxtrot. Foxtrot is probably good. They yeah, did? No, they have, it might be a mix. But yeah, they're gonna make it. Break. I want to see yeah. him do a salsa, yes, because Whitney knows how to eat a salsa. I want to wait. What better give her do? let her pick the song. For Argentine tango, they're gonna have so that's gonna be well, that could mm, I don't know. Depends, because black men don't typically do good with Argentina. But Whitney know how to choreograph for Argentina. She does. So he'll at least get nines. And then- <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, Trevor and Emma. Let's talk about this. <laughs> Trevor and Emma's contemporary was actually good. It was. I'm going to lay off of Trevor. He doing good. I, he, I was just about to root for him, and then he did that crying act again. And I said, I know. And that's what I was saying too with Benny. I'm like, before they even played his package, I said he better not be in here trying to pull no strings. And then here go Trevor. He don't even gotta pull strings, Loki. I'm sick of here. <laughs> he who Trevor or no Big Benny ben. don't gotta pull Trevor gotta pull strings because he's been in that bottom. So I get him. <laughs> he been in that Trevor bottom. is Trevor is Trevor and Emma are Barbie and Ken. They go they yeah. gonna appeal to the audience. The, their chemistry uh, low-key finally ate in this they're man, so. <laughs> they're yeah they fi- they finally gave me good <laughs> chemistry like for this yeah. uh contemporary they argentine Emma's con- what you say they haven't done an argentine tango yet no and i don't want to see that with his big <laughs> <laughs> we about no. to pop. look we about to it's about to go we within that minute so oh anyway ready. they're in love that's nice emma's contemporaries are usually not kid back <laughs> 
Hey, hold on. Let me tell you. It's probably going to shut off before he even get his camera on. <laughs> I'm going to be with you, kid. <laughs> kid, the camera finna go off. So be ready to put in the chat because we already have 30 minutes. I don't even know where the heck hold on. Off. <laughs> We were on Whitney and Wayne. Or oh, at, we, at, we, we moved on. You only miss Whitney and Wayne. Oh, that was it? Okay. <laughs> be ready because it's about to end right here in like two seconds. <laughs> the shoot us out. Ooh, man, shut the fuck up talking about Brandon, man. Fuck him. Oh. <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> All right, so we jumping back in. Kid, did you want to ask something about Whitney and Wayne and Emma and Trevor? Because we, we we got to we glossed over them before uh, mm. it was starting to cut. Oh crap! What the fuck did I want to? That was good. I don't have nothing to complain ish. As far as now, it was good. It just shouldn't have gotten tens. Yeah, that part. Wait, who at, got tens? Oh, he got. I wouldn't even know. Oh, we talking about Trevor? I thought we were talking about Wayne and Whitney. Oh, what you got to say about Wayne and Whitney? Yeah, I thought it, I thought it was good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, what I gave Trevor nine. He did good. I gave him eight. It was eight. Why did? It was good. It just wasn't anything higher. I can't give it when they, when they both jumped up in the air with flex feet and bent knees doing a contemporary routine with no shoes on. If you have no shoes on, them feet better be pointed and them legs better be straight. I don't need to just see the yeah, Arnold 2.0 on too bad. I don't need to see the Arnold 2.0. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're moving to these whack-ass, ghetto-ass team dances. Vinny set up Gabby and Shangela, and I will never forgive him for this. And Jordan, I- don't forget, <laughs> mainly Jordan. <laughs> he set yeah, her ass up. Yeah, he set Jordan up. The rest yeah. of them was fine. If Jordan would have been on the other team, she might have escaped that bottom three. But Vinny, Gabby, Shangela, Heidi, and Jordan were on the same team. Shangela was the only one that was, she, regardless of what team she was on, she's going to be all right. Right. The court she- was basic. Oh, Shangela. So- that was so ghetto. Ugh. And no costumes? Yeah, no costumes. Yeah. Dance with this the Stars. Because the budget for Dance with the Stars this season definitely has increased in terms of like production wise. The show but then we crazy. but then they got this dumb music and no costumes. <laughs> it's giving ghetto. <laughs> and the covers all the time. Like if Trevor Garland is not doing the covers, I don't need to hear nobody else sing. Exactly. This right. is weird. <laughs> Enter to the costumes after they were done their first dance. They did not. Team change. Wicked was exactly their name. It was Wicked. It was nasty. I <laughs> hated the dance. I don't understand it, why. It was, they was, and it was just fist pumping while the other people. Yeah, the only thing they choreographed was their solos. And then whenever yeah. they were doing their solos, whoever wasn't doing the solos was standing there. Did they think it was a relay? That's what, I thought, that's what I really thought. It was a relay. Like, that's literally my mom going into the, into the group and then solo scene. It looks Let's like into a- the classier ghetto group dance in the main event. <laughs> yeah, I gave that I gave that dance a seven, but I didn't score it. But okay, <laughs> they got three eights and a nine from Derek. Again, delusional. Thirty three out of forty. But we got Team Scream with Daniel, Charlie, Wayne, and Trevor. You know what? Although Trevor picked a better team, I'm still mad. <laughs> I think I'm thinking for me and Lily. I was not worried about the dance at all. I'm too busy looking at Mark and Whitney. <laughs> I was like, but what, they, what no, but the camera men weren't doing what they were supposed to do. They weren't, because I'm like, I'm sure they was talking at some point, getting the choreography. Yeah, just show us a little snippet of them talking. Let's see that. <laughs> not a little snippet. From a dance let's wide. talk about Mark and Whitney, because a bunch of people want to know the real tea. Let's, 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 let's wrap this dance up first before we get. Oh to yeah, it. that's true. I was telling people false tea. Dance was good, but I mean, it wasn't it wasn't anything special either. Oh yeah, it was definitely better than the other one. And Daniel and Britt had the best solo. Like that was his shining moment for me. Oh, when a wow moment, but it was definitely the best part of the dance. Yeah, I like his solo. Yep. And they got three tens and a nine. But anyway. Mark and Whitney, let's talk about this. And let's let's set the ground for everybody who don't know. Allegedly, but not allegedly, because you can see it on just Google it. Mark and Whitney got a history. And I think because Mark, if I'm not mistaken, Mark is the reason Whitney and Lindsay got brought to Dance with the Stars from So You Think You Can Dance. If, if this is my to me, because he went and taught them too when they was kids. Oh, you're saying- Allegedly, 
This is my. This is to my knowledge because <laughs> shut up. I, that's not allegedly. Listen, because allegedly. Listen, because y'all know Derek and Julianne is from Utah, and they went to the same studio that Jenna and Alexis and who's the other dude that's in the troop? The other dude. They went to that same <laughs> studio too. Ezra. What's his name? Oh, Ezra. Yeah, they went to the same studio that Derek taught that Ter- Derek and Julianne was training at. Mm-hmm. So of course, Mark being like kin to them or whatever he's going to know who they are. So I'm I'm setting the groundwork for people that don't know, but I'm sure a lot of people that do know. I didn't know. Go back, and watch, back, and you told me. Go back and watch season 19. All I'm going to tell you is go back and watch season 19. I forget the dance they did. Mark and Whitney did some type of dance. And then go look at one of Mark's music videos. Whitney was his love interest in the video. Mm. Anyway, as we all know, they had an assorted history where apparently it's a rumor that the two were involved while somebody else might have been in a relationship, allegedly. I'm not getting sued out here. But there's pro- there's the proof is in the pudding because that was like almost 10 years ago and they stopped being cool with each other after that point because then the other one got back in a very committed relationship too. As we all see, they're both married and whatever. Happily married. <laughs> Happily married. <laughs> on this recap nobody's happy <laughs> there was some tension because we saw the tension up there in that skybox because they had i thought for sure whitney was going to be on this end and mark was going to be on this end but no they was right there next to each other so i was like okay they were just not interacting which makes they, it more... they, they got them scores. She kept touching charlie like good job charlie <laughs> yes they got them scores whitney was like uh, we- and I was waiting to see. I was waiting to see if she could go she back. She was trying to talk to him at the end. She was. She gave him that hand. Like, she put that hand to go to whoever was next. I think it was. Who was over there next to her? Uh, shit, whoever else. Mark was right here. I thought she was going to Mark, but she took that hand straight over his face. I said, ooh. And then Mark went and dapped up uh, Wayne Boy. and turned the other way and went the other. They went and hugged everybody else but each other. And I was like, Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is me coming out. I want them to, <laughs> to get together and fuck it out. You know what? Hmm. And this is very. You want me to say what you're thinking? Am I right? Is that what you were thinking? Because I Mark think fans, <laughs> Whitney fans, don't come at me. You know don't come if, us, they do, if they do another duet, team duet thing, it should Mark, be Wayne and Charlie. Uh, please, please, Mark please and be Wayne and Charlie. Please be. <laughs> Because they got unfinished business. That tension. No, for, that whoever tension feel, can y'all please clip this and send it to the um the producers Wayne and Charlie duo dance. We're begging for it, please. I want to I wanna see. I want man. They got unfinished. They have to be forced to interact. <laughs> or we are Whitney got unfinished business for them to have tension still that thick. That's what I'm saying. And she looked uninterested in the confessionals in the dance. Whenever they showed her were her, she was. Like, oh, she did. Well, did. And as Lily pointed out, Whitney was, it looked like she's trying to talk to Mark at one point, but Mark was like tunnel vision. I'm yeah, not- towards the end, she kept looking back. I was like. Go ahead and catch you. <laughs> They're going to be like, girl. No, but we get to the quarterfinals and they do a duo thing. I need those two together quickly because, yeah. We need a 2020 I need- special. I need to, I need, I need to host that. because I, I need them questions. to do a dance break they need- together. They- have, they need to bring us on here so we can uh, yeah. see this. We need to, we're need. we going to ask the hitting questions. The people that I'm trying to see them. Yeah, right. I'm to see them. For real. <laughs> Sorry, uh, wife and husband. And of husband. And right. <laughs> we we got to figure something Whitney's out. Gotta... Whitney's son looks just like her. Yeah, he does. That's a child that's not an ugly child. Oh, no, yeah, he, oh, dang, we're not talking about kids, are we? We're not talking <laughs> about kids. You, right? you, know he, you know which kid he want to talk about, though. The that one that's baby is cute kids. though. He a cute white baby. He's a, he's a very good looking kid. I'm not talking about kids. <laughs> yeah, well, let's just talk about cute kids. I'm not doing nothing else with y'all. Anyway. <laughs> he's a cute kid. He looks just like his mother. Like, but uh, um, yeah, so then we wrap it up. As I predicted, <laughs> let me find the tweet. Oh, my God. oh, you said Jordan and Heidi. I said Jordan and Heidi were going to be that bottom two. Yeah. I gotta find the tweet because I'm gonna show you the date, the time. Not the date and the time. Yeah, because I want y'all to see it. Because I knew I knew it was gonna happen. The minute I saw well <laughs> first, I was like, Yeah, it's a wrap. She going home. And she, look, I said hot take, bottom two. Look at that. 
Hi, Jordan and Heidi. And I said, y'all won't fight. You know I'm going to be right. You know I'm going to be right. <laughs> Look, what time did I tweet that? Did I see that bullshit? 926. Oh, exactly. Look at you. Exactly. And I was right. See, now, now see if they, how Jordan had been saved at three and it would have been. You saw, my, you saw what I put in that group chat, kid, and you didn't heart it. You're fake. What did you put? What, wait, what do you mean? No, I look didn't... in the. No, look in the horse for sports group chat. Thank you. <laughs> what did you put in the horse for sports? You're supposed to support me, kid. <laughs> Period. Look, I wouldn't even I talk would... shit now because we three and four. <clears throat> we out of the we out of the play in at this point. Please. And like we've lost it. We lost it to the Pistons last night. And what did we do? It came up on top. <laughs> Just if- Ooh, no, because that game, no, because that game really was Let's close. Wrap up. <laughs> Let's wrap yeah, up. okay, it was close, but it don't matter. Drew is clutch. <laughs> don't play with him. No. We're wrapping this up because these dances, I'm pretty sure these dances will start with about no basketball. Great. We will see y'all next week. Thumbs up the video, subscribe. I ain't even said that in a while. Thumbs up the video, <laughs> drop comments as y'all always do. We got some stuff to talk. I want to hear what y'all got to think about the Mark and Whitney shit, about everything that we just talked about. Drop the comments. Y'all know where to find us on social media. Get me to a thousand subscribers. We like 48, I think, away. Why did I look at my watch? Like, I don't know why you <laughs> think <laughs> we'll see y'all next week. Rose might be with us next week. We'll see. Yeah, we'll with us now because Rose live in LA and it's like mandatory for you to be out there for Halloween. So we'll see. <laughs> but we checking out. Peace. Bye.